Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through an example on how to set up Fibonacci retracement levels. So what we want to do is look at our chart here and kind of decide on what areas we're interested in. We want to plot from the swing high to a swing low. And what we're going to do is go to our drawing tools, select Fibonacci retracement right here. All right, and I know I'm interested in this swing high point here. Now, I don't know exactly what level I should use. I kind of want to line up the chart. So basically just check out these different levels here. All right. I think this is makes the most sense, right? Right here. All right. Now I can go back to the one minute chart, kind of get an idea of what I want to do. So I might want to use these lines as support and resistance levels to place a stop loss or a potential profit target. Let's go here on the 38% level retracement and we're going to change this. All right, we're going to change the style here. So this is a this is a key level of support many traders use. Uh, it's a significant level here. So you can see that when the price broke through this level, we had some continuation to the 50% retracement level. All right, now if it goes to the top of the chart back here again, that's 100% retracement. Okay, so we can look at a few other examples here. Let's look at, all right, now the same idea now, what, what I like to do is just go to the retracement, to the drawing toolbar here and find retracement. Now, uh, on the previous chart, we started from the, the high, the swing high to the swing low. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna start at the swing low and go to the swing high. So. Again, we're basing our decision on whether or not we want to, if we want to establish a long position or if we want to short the stock. If we want to short the stock, then we need to use the swing low level so we can get an idea of, of how to calculate, all right, the, the return, all right. Um, on this other chart here, you can see that we do have the extension levels. Again, we have 161. And now if we, the Fibonacci is going to save with your layout. So if we come back a week later and the stock has dropped further, again, there's another, uh, there's another level out there. So we have 161 and then the next one would be 261. So these right here are your extension levels. All right. And basically that's how it works. It's just a simple strategy, nothing too complicated. All we're doing is basically if we're establish, if we're going to establish a short here we can say that this is a key level of resistance now 38 percent retracement and if we want to establish a short here we can place our stop stop loss here and we can place a profit target here at uh, 78 percent or we can go further out and look at these other levels uh, you might just want to recalculate and reestablish your redraw your fibonacci levels again you're just using swing high and swing low points in looking at different multiple time frames uh, so that's that's it for this video. If you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. You can always subscribe. You'll get an update next time we release, when we release our next video. Also visit our social media channels and then also Trade Zero Learn for some interesting articles on information in the industry. So hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.